I'm Mark Lewis Johnson Sr. and on Saturday, July 18th, 2015, we commemorated the 49th anniversary of the 1966 Huff Riots. We commemorated it with a march, a community luncheon, and a panel discussion. Here are some of those highlights. Now, are you shocked, surprised by how the, 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 uh, the police community relationships has been? And if you are, what was it that you did different to make sure that, that police officers under your watch knew the citizens that they were, they were protecting and serving? Yes, I was also the training officer for the police department. I had to train them. My job was to train police officers in how to perform their duties within the Constitution of the United States, not your personal feelings. Education, I've said this all the time, education, education, knowing what to do, knowing the law, knowing your rights, and you would be able to work within those rights and everything should work out okay. And I see today, I see a lot of the um, officers and complaints uh, against the officers, overreaction, I said overreaction, because I never taught the officers to do that. Your weapon is your last result unless, it's a, unless you need it immediately. But I see that today. As a matter of fact, I passed a um, traffic stop last week. It's just a simple traffic stop. The officer asking for information, but he had his hand on his gun. To me, that's intimidating. That's threatening. You don't do that. Those law enforcement officers out there are doing a good job. You might have one or two, and when the one or two do wrong, the whole entire police department, including the city and the mayor, are accused. They took an oath to follow the Constitution of the United States and treat everybody fair. No unequal justice, In that equal justice, and I right share that across with the you board. Today, Regardless. because it's so important that we make sure that our home is a home that is, number one, that our children respect us in the home, and that when they leave our homes, that other people recognize that these children have been trained, that these children respect authority. Even when the authority figure might be wrong, we have to respect authority. That's not being taught enough today. That's how my parents taught me. Many times they were wrong, but we didn't dare disrespect him. We didn't dare say ugly things against him because you respect authority no matter what. And, and you let the Lord and you let the other authority figures handle that. And our children were being killed far before um, Trayvon Martin and Tamir Rice and Michael Brown. We, children were being killed. They, they weren't being um, publicized like those were. Somebody lost a child today, last night. So things are happening, we just don't hear about it. Let's not wait until it's on the six o'clock news and it's major, it's a major event. Let's not wait until then to then mobilize. We need to be mobilizing ourselves in prayer every single day. And just because before that's Reverend, exactly Reverend what the comes, I want to take a, a, a second to look at the crime report from January to June. This is just within this time frame this year of what has taken place so far. So as you can see, homicides, there were 50 individuals who lost their lives from January to June. 50. 267 rapes from January to June, 13, over 1,300 robberies from January to June. And in addition to those crimes, police have investigated uh, 1,093 uh, felonious assaults, uh, 22, over 2,200 burglaries, over five, well over 5,500 thefts, uh, over 1,600 grand thefts, and over 125 arsons. This all happened from January to June. And so one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be monitoring those numbers every month starting now. And so we're going to be holding individuals accountable. So there are families grieving beside Tamir Rice. There's family grieving beside some of the other instances. Michael Brown, there's a lot of families grieving out there. Uh, and all of those were not done by police officers. So we have a responsibility not only to hold our elected officials accountable, but to also hold ourselves accountable. And so we're going to be talking about ways by which we can keep... Get the